Hey guys, my name is Catherine and welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I have a first impressions slash review of these new L'Oreal Mattifying Infallible Foundations. First off, I'll tell you a little bit more about these foundations. It says here that the L'Oreal makeup designers have developed a new matte finish. Lightweight, non-cakey, 24-hour matte perfection. Um, the texture of this should be medium and the coverage should be high. So they do have a little mini diagram as well as a pro tip for some shine controls. Smooth onto skin in circular motions for a flawless looking coverage. Um, I guess there's one way to find out. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch all six colors on my face and basically give myself a little color match. So this first color that I'm putting on is number 11 in vanilla. The next one is 12 natural rose. Number 20 in sand. Number 22 in radiant beige. Number 30 in honey. And lastly, number 32 in amber. So alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let these foundations dry for a few more seconds because I do notice when they dry and oxidize, they go a little bit deeper. So I'm definitely torn between either the number 22 radiant beige and the number 12 natural rose. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick radiant beige only because it's more of a warmer undertone compared to the natural rose. I'm gonna try and really put this primer to the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply just the primer to the right side of my face. It definitely feels really silicone-y, um, really slippery and smooth like most primers do. So we'll see how we go after a few hours of wear. So I'm going to take Radiant Beige and on a little buffing brush, I'm going to apply that all over my face. It's definitely super blendable. I'm just going to try and add a bit more coverage towards the sides of my face just because I have a few broken capillaries there. So it's looking pretty nice so far. Just gonna grab a little bit more and add a bit, a bit more extra coverage. I do notice that this one doesn't have a scent. I have tried just the original Infallible that they first came out with, and it had like this really nice perfumed scent. This one I can't really smell anything. Got a couple of blemishes on my forehead. I'm just gonna try and go over that. Oops, now I have foundation in my hair. Ooh, shit. And that looks pretty nice. I really do like the coverage. It feels, I really do like the feel of it. It definitely feels so lightweight. And you know when you put liquid foundation on it and you feel it feels wet and sticky? This one feels clean. Like it definitely feels like skin. Um, and I just like that it doesn't feel gross. It's actually really, really comfortable. So it is currently 12.53. Um, I guess I'll go come back in about an hour's time with the rest of my face on. So don't be shocked. Now it is currently 1.46. It's been about an hour and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the, the foundation. It, again, still no shine on my nose. And again, I think it looks really good, really flawless. And it feels so comfy. I'm like actually so surprised because it doesn't feel wet or sticky. It felt like it's set already. It just feels really, really comfy. I really like it. Uh, so now it is currently 1.47. It's been about an hour and still going strong. Still going good. It's absolutely fine. And I can't get over how comfortable it feels. It feels so nice. It feels dry. <laughs> but I don't think I look dry. Or do I? So it's currently 4.37 in the afternoon. I just woke up from having a little snooze. Um, it did get a little bit greasy, but not as bad as I originally thought. A little bit of oil production towards the T-zone, but nothing too substantial and gross. I'm actually really impressed. I thought it'd be a lot oilier. 
I can't stop looking at myself because I'm actually really surprised. Alrighty, so it is currently 6.25 at night and um, I did have a little bit of a snooze and I did go to the gym um, and this is what it looks like so far. I'm actually really impressed. It's been a whole freaking day and my foundation still looks really, really good. As you can see in the footage before, it did get a little bit greasy towards my T-zone, but now that you know I've gymmed it out, I did kind of pat my face because I was sweating. But looking at it now, I'm, I'm really matte. I'm really, really surprised at how matte my skin is, um, which rarely ever happens, especially towards my T-zone. So um, the coverage is still pretty good. I'd have to say it, it's worn out a tiny bit, but I'm still really, really happy with it. So, um, yeah, really happy with this foundation. Um, so was it lightweight? Yes, most definitely. I it just felt so comfortable on my skin. Um, was it cakey? Um, I wouldn't say it's cakey on my skin type. Anyway, I do have normal to combination skin. So I would imagine for people who have dry skin, um, it would kind of perhaps look a bit cakey because it might settle into you know dry patches and whatnot um but I have combination oily skin and it doesn't look cakey at all really really surprised um 24 hour don't know 12 hour maybe maybe hasn't even been 12 hours 24 hour matte perfection I don't really know just yet but I'll um pretty long lasting I have to say with the matteness um it's been about five hours wear and my skin looks like this so really impressed it did kind of wear off you can see a little bit of the uh, the redness coming through my nose area um, but overall the coverage on the rest of my face is still there really really happy with it as for the primer I felt like it didn't really do anything for my skin I feel like you know my left side my right side there isn't really much of a difference it's just one of like a yeah it's okay and I guess my overall thoughts would be um, it's a pretty good foundation. I would recommend it. I really do like it. I'd probably rate it about, um, I'd probably rate this um, foundation four cats out of five. I know in the US they do have a matte version of the Infallible, but it's called the Pro Matte. This one must be the UK version because it's called the Infallible 24 hour matte. I don't really know. Um, if you know if they're supposed to be the same foundation, let me know, leave a comment down below clarifying things for me. That would be awesome. The UK version, there's only six shades. The US version, they've got a bajillion shades. So I think that sucks in a sense. Compared to the Infallible that first came out, I found that this one really catered for warm and cool skin tone. So like this one is a little bit tricky. Um, And um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thanks so much for watching my videos. If you liked it, please like it. <laughs> Mwah. Bye. It's kind of like a will it work kind of type video. I'm really excited because I've seen this kind of like on TV and here and there and I'm really curious as to how well it works and um, on the back of the box it says curl secret the curl revolution. Um, hair goes in. Look a little bit healthier now. I'm washed out but I look a bit healthier. Hey guys my name's Catherine and welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't know. <laughs> if you know that if they're that can yeah if you know if they leave a comment down below telling me why you didn't like it that that would be good I don't really know I'm just rambling now probably should go I'm really quite impressed with them I can't get over how mad I am 